Great Hanover ends up winning the race, driven by... John Campbell. Yes, and owned by... Lou Guida, who owned everything at that time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so you're about to see this really wild race where you think Mac Lobel is going to win, but no, Delray comes right up, wins with John Campbell. And another cool thing... Mm -hmm. Right after the race, we see John Campbell. He gives us, you know, a little quote about what happened during the race. And John Campbell, like, this is 1989, okay? We had him on the show last week. He's like the Dick Clark of racing. He never ages. Did he have a mustache back then? Uh, yeah, he did. Yes. So I want to know what his secret is. Mac Lobel going along in a good clip leads the way. Here comes the big gelding up on the outside. Red Road into the action. World champion Delray Lobel. Noble U sets the pocket fourth. Along the rail, Chadwick Hanover is fifth. Dizzy Hanover is up on the outside. Armbro Garnsey trail. He's about five off, though. The half in 58 and one. Matt got a 30 second breather there. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Mac Lobel by ahead. Right alongside in second, Red Roan. Racing in to be third. Noble U. The cover belongs to Del Rey Lobel. He might be a factor. Saving ground, Chadwick Hanover. Vizzy Hanover is up on the outside at Armbro Garnsey. This field is now head to head, racing by three quarters in 127 and three. Mac Lobel on top by a nose. Red Roan right alongside. He looks him right in the eye. Red Roan now takes the lead. Mac Lobel gives way along the rail second. Del Rey Lobel on the far outside third. Noble U looks for racing room. Chadwick Hanover, Vizzy Hanover, and Armbro Garnsey. It looks like Mac might be beaten, but he's fighting back. Mac Lobel, Red Road. Here's Del Rey Lobel on the far outside. It's always a thrill to win a, a Breeders' Crown, and it's uh, it's a little more exciting when you win it with a long shot. So uh, it's, it was definitely odd racing against Mac Lobel, but he's just another horse in the race once you're turning behind the gate, and you have to do your best to beat him. Thank you, John.